EDC enthusiasts and fellow genetic modified Vikings. I'm Diener. Welcome to the channel. We're going to do uh, an unboxing today. And it involves a package that I purchased probably two months ago. Um, I saw that it was available. And um, it's an annual release kind of a deal. And I didn't really pay attention to what particular model it was because I wanted to have just that little bit of an element of surprise when I opened the package. So it involves... A, a knife that uh, you really need to add to your collection or a tool, right, that you need to add to your collection. And that's this right here, the Swiss Army Knife, Victronox, Alox version. Um, and that's what these are right here. We have the Pioneer and the Pioneer X. Now, we're going to jump right over to the top down. I increased the top down scale of the uh, the view. My buddy Kevin over there at Duty's Daggers, he had a suggestion. He said, why don't you just make that full full view? So I did. That way you can see a little bit better. Here's the Pioneer. These are the 93 millimeter size, a little over three inches, three and a half inches. But at any rate, they have the Pioneer has the standard blade, cap lifter, a bottle opener, slotted screwdriver, the wire strippers, the reamer or all, and then the can opener. Now for me, on an everyday carry basis, the can opener and eh, the only benefit really is this little screwdriver. But uh, on, an, on an EDC basis, uh, that can opener, for the most part, is useless. Um, I'd like to see them uh, come up with a, a different implement there, which is similar. I, I did a video on all this, and I won't cover it too much. But anyway, I'll put a link in the description regarding all this. But this is the Pioneer. And then here, the difference between the Pioneer and the Pioneer X is this guy right here, which is the scissors. This is a three-layer knife. This is two. So the Pioneer X, which is this one right here, has everything you see here plus the scissors. The scissors are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I also cover the, uh, the quality of those scissors in that video. So Pioneer, Pioneer X. So we're going to fold them up. This is not really uh, the focal point of this video. I mentioned in my video that I, I'm a collector. I buy stuff to collect. It's kind of a curse, but hey, it is what it is. It uh, makes life interesting. Gets me up in the morning. So here's the package. And we're going to open this up in a second. But before I do, I will show you. Uh, I mentioned about collecting. Here's my uh, little collection so far of the annual releases. And as I can tell, they started it in 2016. And I didn't start these till a couple years ago. I think uh, this one right here was my first one. So that would have been 2021. Uh, so as you can see, all of them are dated. That's 2021. Here's the 2020. Obviously, and going in order, the 2019. This was last year's, the 2022. And they do a different color each year. Now, it's really kind of interesting. It jumped out at me until, it didn't occur to me until I started looking at these. Um, they have two years in a row, last year and the year before, of the Pioneer X, which is the Pioneer, but also includes the scissors. And then the prior two years was just the Pioneer. So I think the 2018, which is here, uh, was in the berry red color, a very vibrant red. That was the Pioneer. So we had three years of Pioneer. We have a Pioneer X, Pioneer X. So I'm just curious what's going to be this year. So we'll add that to that tray here in a minute. I have user um, Victronox, Alox models. Um, these here, the collector ones, I, I don't know, I don't use. I uh, I just put them in there and collect the damn things. I know it's a curse. Anyway, here's the package. We're gonna open it up with the Chavez Street. Great knife. I did a recently did a video on the Chavez phenomenal knife all right there it is the alox 2023 limited edition now they <laughs> they're not limited to what you would think uh or you would typically think of it being limited there's at least four or five thousand of these uh, but there are a lot of collectors of the victronox knives so uh even though they're they're readily readily available it's just uh Kind of a unique marketing thing, but here we go. I'm going to check out the color. 
Alox, limited edition. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. That's a crazy looking color there. Uh, it talks about the color in UV light. Uh, you, you can pause and read that if you like. I'm not going to bother. So, at any rate, there it is. It is a neon color. Holy jeez, this is nuts. And it is what they do glue the thing in there. Wow, that sucker is really in there. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it is in there. What the hell? I have never seen anything like this. There it goes. Wow, it's cardboard. I think in prior years, no, it's like a, a layered styrofoam. That sucker is in there. Good luck getting that out if you buy one of these. Anyway, here it is, the 2023. The color is a uh, almost like a lime green, it looks. An electric, oh, neon. They're calling it a neon electric yellow. It certainly is electric yellow they describe that perfectly okay now it looks like this is let's take a look yep there's the reamer it looks like this is the pioneer x there's the regular blade yep it is going to be the pioneer x there's the uh bot cap lifter bottle opener slide screwdriver wire stripper this is going to be the can opener yeah i wish they would replace that one year just replace that instead of the uh, the can opener. Put in the uh, electrician's uh, blade. I really like that. And then the scissors. So there it is. This is the 2023 Victronox Alox Limited Edition in the neon or the electric yellow. So there you go. So I'm going to add him to the collection. I'm going to pop him in here in his rightful spot. Again, I don't use these. Some of the older ones, it appears that they first started this back in 2016. Uh, I thought it was 2018. It is not. It's 2016. So here's the uh, 2023 version. Boy, it blends right in with that yellow background. Anyway, uh, I've got to eventually get to these guys. Uh, these are expensive. Uh, when they first started these, they were even more limited in terms of production than these newer models. But they, they knew how to tap into the, uh, the collector-minded people and uh, effectively market that so you just keep the collection going. I did a similar thing with the, uh, the Finch knives. Uh, however, I have to tell you, I, uh, at some point, you gotta, you got to yell quits. But uh, I don't have that many of these, so we'll just keep them going. So there you go. That is the Victronox 2023 Electric Yellow. Alox, and that is the Pioneer X. So it kind of it's standing to pattern. We got the Pioneer X, Pioneer X, Pioneer X, Pioneer Pioneer, and then they jump back to the uh, I believe it was the Pioneer on the 2018. Um, let me take a quick look. I'm on eBay right now. Um, it was the Pioneer, yeah. So we had three years in a row of the Pioneer, and then now three years in a row with the Pioneer X. It'll be interesting to see what they do next year. So I'm going to switch back to the dual camera mode. There we go. So there you go. The unboxing of the 2023 Electric Yellow Alax. So there. Um, again, I mentioned that if you don't have uh, any of these knives, I recommend them. They're not that expensive. Uh, you know, the limited edition ones, these are up right around 100 bucks, I think, 90 to $100. But you can pick up, like, uh, my favorite is the electrician. It's like 50 60 bucks. I'll tell you what, it disappears in your pocket. It's got all the implements that you want. Great model. So there you go. That's it. That's all there is for today. I'm not sure when this will post. I'm going to be going to uh, uh, my son's graduation uh, coming up uh, tomorrow morning. Actually, Thursday, I leave. So I'm not sure when this is going to post. I might... Uh, push it ahead and have it post on a, a day when I'm down there and I'm not able to, to make any content. So there you go. Until the next video, please, right there. Damn it, I have a hard time every time. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Uh, like, subscribe on the video. And uh, that's it. Until the next one, this is Diener. I'm signing out.